So we're finishing up on addition and subtraction formulas for trig functions, right? We have sine, cosine are the ones that we've been working on the most. So let's work on this. If alpha and beta are acute angles such that cosecant of alpha equals 13 twelfths and cotan of beta equals 4 thirds, then find sine of alpha plus beta. What are you going to do first? Anybody? Jason? Yeah, I'm going to set up two triangles. Um, let's do this one here. So here's triangle. Can we call this one alpha? Is that all right? So let's make this triangle alpha. So what do we know about alpha? We know this. We also know that cosecant, right? This is that page 377, Swakowski cold stuff, right? Is equal to 1 over sine, isn't that right? And we also know that sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So this is the same as this, isn't it? We can bring this up as a complex fraction, right? So this is actually what? 13 is the hypotenuse and 12 is the, it's the opposite. Is everybody good there? All right, so here's the angle, Davey, because I know you care. It's 12, right, Davey? 13. So then we're going to do a little Pythagorean theorem, aren't we? So we get 12 squared plus x squared, or y squared, that we? y squared is equal to 169, Davey, is that right? y squared is equal to 144, is equal to 25. So this is equal to 5, yes? So let's gather some stuff up. Sine of alpha is what? 12 is 12 thirteenths, because we know what pieces we're going to need, right? Cosine alpha is equal to 5 thirteenths. Somebody checking this math, please. Good job, you guys. All right, and let's go ahead and build our triangle for, for beta. And you know what? Thanks for saying that, Ken, because you know, look what I did here. Should be beta. So sorry about that. So here's our beta triangle. And we have cotan, and we know that cotan of theta is equal to 1 over tan, isn't it? We know that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Therefore, cotan theta is equal to what? Adjacent over opposite. So adjacent is... Adjacent is 4, is that right? And opposite is 3. Is that good math? Everybody check that out. And tell me something else we recognize here. Speak up. Yeah, we have a Pythagorean triplet, right? A 3, 4, 5. Good job. And let's make sure we name this beta. Remember when you draw your beta, it's a long uh, stem, and then put the B somewhere. Of course, I act like I know what I'm doing, and that happens. Okay. So let's do that. What is sine beta? Three fifths. Cosine beta? Four fifths. And now we can just start using what we know here, can't we? So we know that sine of alpha plus beta is equal to what? Sine alpha, cosine beta, plus sine beta. If you wrote it in the other direction, I get that. Cosine alpha, is that right? So cosine alpha is 5 thirteenths, is that right? I'm sine alpha is 12 thirteenths, is that right? Cosine beta is 4 fifths plus sine beta is 3 fifths, cosine alpha is 5 thirteenths. Is that good math so far? We get 48 plus, thanks Ken, 48 plus 15 over 65, is that right? What do we get here? 
63 60 fifths. Is that possible? Sure it is. Okay? Good enough? So Billy told me to tell you that if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have any comments, forward them to Hair Bear.